anything. Any milk? I thought you wanted pancakes. Well, I need milk to make pancakes. There's milk in the refrigerator. I've seen my thing. What thing? Honey, thing, there's no you know? milk in the refrigerator. Uh, the refrigerator in the garage. You didn't say garage. Have you seen my email pager? Oh, your little thing. You know, I don't know where it is. And if you didn't leave your toys around, it's not you a toy. Know where everything I don't is. play with toys. I'm not some This is home milk, honey. We don't have any 2%. I don't know. Can't you see I have the baby? Hey, please go tell your brother he's going to be late if he doesn't hurry up. You know, I could find things if you weren't putting things in boxes and moving every couple of months. Well, that's your father's job. Blame him. Blame me? Why are you blaming me for it? Yeah, why blame Dad? It used to be your job, too, before you had a baby. Well, how nice for somebody to remember that I used to be something other than a breakfast chef. Now, please go tell your brother he's going to be late. Jason, hurry up! Hi. Hey, Mom, what's for breakfast? She's not the breakfast chef. Make your own. As long as it doesn't involve milk. We have milk. Jason. What am I thinking? Do you have to ask me that every morning? Hey, Chuck, leave him Come on, alone. Yes, what am I thinking? I don't know, Dad. I just got up. I don't even know what I'm thinking. What would the contrary be? I don't think, therefore I'm not. Mom, can you make me some breakfast? Can't any of you take care of yourselves? The problem is you kids have things too easy. When your grandfather was your age, he used to eat fire. He was a fire eater. He was in the circus. He had a job. He was self-sufficient. That's my point. And believe me, if you don't have a job, nobody appreciates you around here. Mom, I would appreciate it if somebody would tell me when they pager is. Hey, Kelly. Think fast. Chuck, knock it off. One more. Come Whoa. on. Chuck, quit playing at them. I'm not playing. This isn't a game. Well, you're going to make them late. I'll drop them off at school on my way to work. No. no. We're good. We're just going to head off. Hey, I didn't get breakfast yet. Get a government-mandated breakfast at school. Make the taxpayers happy. Government-mandated breakfast. Wait, hold up. I forgot my trip book. Has anybody trip seen my... Trip like children. Well, maybe because they are children. They're teenagers. Okay, we need to involve them, give them responsibilities. Jason is sure not living up to his potential. If you understood my work, you'd be more serious. work. I used to work with you. I wish you all would stop thinking I'm just a housewife. You said you were just a housewife. You don't even listen to me. It's all about you, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. See you after work. among us an ancient evil. It's one desire to claim every human soul as its own. It is powerful, nearly unstoppable, and there's only one thing that stands between us and it. It's a stupid question. You don't think mom's been freaking out a lot lately? She just had a baby. That takes a lot out of a woman, physically, emotionally. A baby story? The Learning Channel? Like, do you watch anything besides the Cartoon Network? I'm just saying. Hey, Kelly, Jason. Oh, hey, Mr. Simon. What's that? It's an MP3 player. Kelly, I thought you loved deck toys. Yeah, well, you got to get yourself one of these. Just rip. Mix and load. Got a little Incubus in here, a little Ja Rule. I thought people your age just listened to oldies. Culture Club, Devo. Yeah, I got a little Pat Benatar in here for nostalgia, too, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so how are things at home? Fine. Why? Oh, I know it's got to be tough for the two of you. Your dad's job keeps moving you around all the time. And Hey, you never really did tell me exactly what he does. Oh, he's, he's a, a digital, digital supervising director. Rep. Yeah, that's OK. When I was your age, I wasn't really sure what my dad did for a living either. Now, I know he wasn't in a rock band, so whatever he was doing, I know it wasn't cool. <laughs> Listen, I gotta run, but I want the two of you to know my door is always open. Okay? Whatever. Wait a minute. Man, it's like you completely forget he's a guidance counselor. Is there some rule that other old people are always cooler than your parents? Jason! Do me a favor. Go away. Ooh, Jason's got a girlfriend. I want to meet away. your girlfriend. Kelly? Tell your girlfriend I said, hey. Go away. Uh, excuse me. 
Hey. Hey. Was that your sister? I hear she's like super smart. Oh, yeah, if you add ass to the end of that. <laughs> I'm sure it runs in the family. I mean, the smart part. Well, intelligence isn't always reflected in good grades. Speaking of, we got math comps next week. A bunch of us were gonna get together for a study group tonight. If you wanted to come. Studying? Yeah, that sounds um time consuming. <laughs> and I was thinking if you come, we don't have to study. We could just hang out some. Or that. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. So later. Later. One over cosine squared x. Therefore, it equals secant squared x. There goes the curve. Yeah, straight up. Bet you Friday she reminds the teacher to give us homework. <laughs> Where'd you guys learn to whisper? In a sawmill? Sweetie, smart is okay. Don't get sassy. Don't point, and don't call me sweetie. What are you gonna do about it, sweetie? <laughs> Kelly, is there a problem? No, no problem. It's not her fault. She's from another school and everything. They probably didn't teach her how to behave in class. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's enough. Every day is the same thing. You wake up to a circus, everybody's shouting at each other, talking past each other. Then you slog up to a job where you're underpaid, underappreciated, go back home for more of the same, get a little sleep, wake up, do it all again. You've been coming in here saying the same thing every day for the past two weeks. Well, that's because for the last two weeks, I haven't been able to get a decent stack of pancakes. Something wrong with our cooking, Jackson? At home. I like to get a decent breakfast at home. Ooh, that's not good. Fire's not burning in the kitchen. It's not burning in the rest of the house. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting kind of cold in the winter? How's your love life, huh? Well, it's, um... It's, it's adequately acceptable. Oh, adequately acceptable. Sounds a whole lot like barely okay to me. My wife just had her baby. You know how that changes things. Something needs changing, all right. What do you say, boys? A couple of kids, all they know how to do is whine and complain. If it was me, I'd just forget them all. Get myself the life I always wanted. Hey, look, guys, no offense here, okay? You know, I come in here and spout off over the morning special. That doesn't mean you really know what's going on with my life. We know all about you, Chuck. And now I know how to take your soul. He's calling for his daddy. Because something's wrong. Yeah, something's gonna be wrong with your face. Wait, wait! I think there's some confusion here. Yeah, because I'm gonna confuse your face. You have to turn everything I say into a threat. How about you stop messing with my girl? My girl. Come on, Tony, I know you're not a violent person. <laughs> you cried at the end of You Got Milk! <laughs> How did you know that? I kind of like the ending, too. Shut up! I'm gonna snap. Hey. Ah! Leave him alone. I'm gonna leave my fist in his face. 
Been if you just punched me in the face, that would have hurt a lot less than being humiliated by getting a save from my sister in front of my friends. Oh, your friends. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your friends. I don't want to ruin anything for you and all your friends. Don't get mad at me just because you got into a fight in your trick class. How did you know? Hey, you two. You go down to your guidance counselor. Now. Us? We didn't start the fight. Your mom is looking for you. We have to get out of here. What? I tried to get it away till after class. We have to go now. This is about Dad, isn't it? If you'd like to use my office to talk. No, goodbye. Let's go. Come on. Could you be a little more rude? I said goodbye. No, was I right? Is this about Are Dad? Are you not listening? We have to go now. We're not going anywhere. Kelly, no. You yank us away in front of other students. You freak out in front of the only person at school who doesn't think we're the creepy new kids. We're not doing anything until you tell us what is going on. Tell us, Mom. Your father's gone. He's gone? Where? Is he all right? I don't... Look, forget everything you think you know about your father. About me. He's not a sales rep. What he does... And what I used to do with him, and what our whole family's done for Jenny. Your father is a warrior monk of the Wu Dan Temple that has been locked in a battle against an immortal mystic that is trying to reshape the earth in its image. It is a battle for our very survival, and now your father is missing. doesn't work for some company. He's a, He's a monk. And he fights evil. And you fought with him. Off and on. When I had you two, I couldn't. And then with the baby, I I know it's hard to believe. What I can't I... believe is you would embarrass us at school just to hit us with some crazy stories. If you have something to tell us, then tell us. Kelly, this is not the time to act like a child. Then stop treating us like children. You always do this to us. I'm sick of it. When you can talk to us like adults, then we'll listen. Ke Kelly, Stop. no. Ke Kelly! Kelly! Hold on. on. Will you hold Please up a what? sec? Please, listen to me. Quit yanking me around. Mom is trying to tell us something. Yeah, Mom is trying to tell us something. Dad's gone. Do you get it? He's gone. He's left her. Us! Why would he... This morning, when I went back to get my trick book, Mom and Dad were getting real hectic. She was laying into him about working too hard, moving every couple of months. I get sick of Mom writing me all the time. How do you think Dad feels? But what she said about Dad being a monk... Yeah, and... Dad's gone fighting evil. Grandpa eats fire. Grandma is taking a long trip, and she won't be back. That's how people talk to children, and that's how she talks to us. What do you think she's trying to tell us? Dad's over it, and he's gone. But if Mom and Dad are... I mean, don't you think that we should be... What? What are we supposed to do? I don't know, but our parents are splitting up. I think we should be doing something. I am. I'm going back to class. Mom? Searching. Para tamayangla. All right. Shen E coaching. You know, it's funny. After all these years, I think I'm finally starting to forget Chinese. Now, if that's not the damning effect of pop culture, I don't know what is. Just download me on the situation. Now that's what I'm talking about. Keep doing what you're doing. 
Give me a shout when you've got a thing together. Show you. You show how your girls were. Mr. Simon? Kelly? Jason? Sis? Okay. Everybody seems to know each other. What are you doing here? I uh, skipped out of class. You skipped class? That's like the third sign of the apocalypse. What are you doing here? I called him down here, Kelly. You guys, you're getting into fights. Your mother shows up frantic. You're skipping out of class. Something's going on, and I think we should talk about it. Who wants to start? I don't know where to start. There's something going on with our parents. Is that why your mother tried to take you out of school? Oh, yeah. She shows up talking like... But she said our dad is gone, but we don't know what kind of gone. Okay. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm a guidance counselor who has no idea what you're talking about. Mom and Dad have been arguing a lot about Dad's job and Mom not having a job anymore and how Dad teases us all the time. She always rides him and now he's finally split. How do you know your father's taken off? I... Not trying to scare you guys, but how do you know he's not in some kind of trouble? She told us his story. I'm not repeating it. You go. Since her mom had the baby, she stopped working. She spends a lot of time at home alone. She's a little emotional. Crazy. She told us that our dad's a monk, and he's fighting some kind of... And mom, too? Yeah, both of them are fighting some kind of evil that's trying to take over the world, and that's why dad's gone. Wow. Kelly. If her and dad are splitting it, it'd just be nice to know the truth. Kelly, I got, I got a bad feeling. I feel bad, too. We should talk to mom. You know, I'm really sorry she told you kids that because I really like both of you and I really don't want to have to kill you. Would everybody stop talking to me like I'm six years old? Kelly, move. Move! The Empress thought you two might be a threat. Hardly. But now that the two of you know the truth, all you shall do is die. <laughs> Leave or die. <laughs> Let's go, now! I say we go with him, now. I'm not going anywhere with the crazy janitor. He just saved us from the crazy guidance counselor. Now! Okay, we go with janitor guy. This definitely deserves a wall. Where have you been? You won't let me watch my kids and then you just disappear? Thank God you two are all right. Come on, come on. <gasps> The whole way here, wherever here is, you said you'd explain things. We're here. Explain things. Shh. We're in a Wudan Su, a temporary one. We had to bring you here to keep you safe. Everything your mother's told you is true. For generations, your family has aided in the battle against Zenzu Luang, the Pearl Empress. What is a Pearl Empress? Everything evil, nothing else. 6,000 years ago, the Pearl Empress was one of eight mortals given life everlasting by the Queen Mother Wang. Not content with immortality, the Empress wanted to rule the world by corrupting souls. And even though the Queen Mother gave the gift of eternity, she didn't possess it herself. So the Queen directed her best warriors and their offspring to fight the Empress, no matter how long it took to defeat her. It's a legacy that was passed on and on over the generations through our family to your father, one of the best warriors to have served the temple. 
And your mother's skills were nearly as legendary. Yes, they are. And the two of you were meant to follow after your parents, what your father's been training you for. What training? Dad hasn't trained us. Kelly, think fast. Oh, that training. So we're Asian and we're naturally good at martial arts? Could we be a little bit more stereotypical? How about you get us some tricked out Hondas to drive around in? Yeah, and could we be really good at math? You are really good at math. Yeah, but not naturally. In case you're missing the obvious, the temple is an equal opportunity to fight evil employer. And martial arts aren't our only skill. For example, Jason, you have a heightened level of intuition and precognition. So I could, like, read minds and kick ass? That's better than getting a foot massage from Pink. Our gifts tend to be singular. So I can't kick ass? <sighs> That's not fair. How can she can kick ass and I can't? Will you listen? This is serious. I'm just saying. All of us are facing a crisis. Okay, we got it. This chick Pearl's trying to take over the world, and Dad's part of her plan. What are you doing about it? As we speak, every monk from our temple is fighting against the Empress's minions. Our mages are attempting to sense his essence, to, to contact his soul self. You try a cell phone? All our phones have GPS locators in them. If we can get a signal from his phone, we could hook it up to a laptop, run it through some mapping software, and get a general location. You've got laptops, right? Forget it, I'll use my PDA. Here, on the west side. Looks like about a six block radius. Let's go get him. Excuse me, you're not going anywhere. Uh, Kelly could fight and I could do whatever. This is what Dad has been training us for. No, not this. Not for getting yourselves killed. Kelly and me might not be the best fighters in the world, but we can help. He's our dad. We're going to help. There's very little you can do, but you might be able to do some good. Are you out of your mind? I'm not about to let them fight with us. Not us. You're staying here. Oh, this is a joke. I have fought with my husband a hundred times. Do you think I would not fight for him? We all do according to our abilities. You're needed in other ways now. Mom. Please, one time, would you believe in us? We could totally do this. You, you take care of my family. And you too, get your father back. Sense anything? Nothing. We're right in the cell phone's grid. Maybe they left the phone and took Dad. Maybe I just suck at this. The Empress is too clever not to conceal herself. But what are we going to do? Look through every store? They'll see us before we see them. You guys ever see one of these chain coffee places closed in the middle of the day? Six bucks for coffee. They never shut them down. They're going to hide Dad in a coffee shop? What better place to hide than in plain sight? We'll head around the back. Stay close to me. I always knew there was something evil about these places. Want something? To destroy your empress. Jason. Are these guys 6,000 years old, too? No. They traded their souls for the Empress's false promises. All they got in exchange was slavery to a twisted master. Now, you listen to me. Speed is essential. You do what you can to fight off the Empress's minions. They won't be a threat once their master's destroyed. Jason, more than anyone, you mustn't fail me. Empress, your reign is over. We're gonna need.
need a new plan. Dad! We've got to get out of here! Dad! You know, you would have expected more, considering. I guess attributes really do skip a generation. After all, they're just kids. You're nothing but a little girl. Get off my sister! And you're not even a threat. Dad, help us! Yeah, but see, that's the point. He doesn't want to help you. Your father was a hell of a fighter, but every Achilles has got his heel. Warrior that he is, he's still a man. And in his subconscious, he wants what every husband and father wants. The respect and love of his family. The appreciation of those who mean the most to him. Great pancakes. With 2% milk, just the way you like them. Nothing's too good for you, Dad. Dad, after breakfast, we want to take you someplace special. Would you like to go somewhere special? I love that. Is this a great family or what? Who wants more juice? In his mind, I've given him exactly what he wants. I've taken away his will to fight. And the moment the three verses of the incantation are read, when the fire of separation is lit, I will take your father's essence and slap it into a husk of my own creation. Your father's warrior spirit will fight by my side. He will tear through the temple monks like they were rice paper. And once they're put down, there is nothing between me and every soul on this planet. And my will to power will be driven by one of the temple's own. Seriously, how good is that? It's bull. Dad knows we're big on him. Soon as he cleans out his head, he's gonna will his foot into your ass. How good is that? Like I said, these two are useless. Can I tell you something? As a guidance counselor, you're a real disappointment. Well, they do have some bouting balls now, don't they? You know, maybe they are their father's kids. So what do you say I give you a choice? Give yourselves to me, or I will separate you from your flesh. Do whatever. We're never going to be our slaves. Mm -mm. There are no absolutes when you can control the mind. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. Then get to it. Start reading the incantation. I will break you like I broke your father. I'm sorry about what I did in trick class. It's just that uh, I kind of got a thing for you. Girl as good looking as you. I just didn't know how to handle myself. That's, you know, it's OK. Hey, we're going to go for a drive. It'd be great if you'd hang out with us. Yeah. Cool. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Hey, Kelly. Kelly. Hi. Kelly. How you doing, Kelly? You're looking great. You're so cool. Hi. I didn't think I'd find you. Later, I'm gonna go hang with my friends. No, you don't have friends. Jealousy is so weak on you. Wait, listen a sec. You listen. You're not the only one who's popular. I have lots and lots of friends. I'm gonna go hang, and if you can't deal, then back up off me. Hey, hey Kelly. Hey, what's up? Kelly, wait. Kelly, Kelly. There's no one here. It's Pearl. She's giving us a vision, same as Dad. This isn't real. I remember. You may find yourself living in a shack behind a shack. You may find yourself in another part of the world. You may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. You may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. Ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Pearl's got us trapped in some kind of mind prison. How did you know? I was outside watching the girls' soccer team practice, and then all of a sudden, Dana and a bunch of her honey girlfriends start. I don't want to hear. 
I'm just saying. Anyway, that kind of stuff doesn't much happen, not in public. That's when I knew. Hey, you know what's really weird? Pearl doesn't talk like a thousand-year-old mystic evil. I mean, not like I always figured mystic evils would talk. We're trapped in some kind of mind prison while our father, the warrior monk, is about to get his soul stolen. But how an immortal, an immortal talks is weird to you? Can I ask you something? You buy your dumbassness at a discount? I'm just saying. You're always just saying. You're always just saying something ridiculous. I'm trapped in nothingness. I'm just trying to deal, OK? I'll go one worse. I'm trapped in nothingness with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that you're used to being alone. You're the one who doesn't have any friends. I'd rather be friendless than a disappointment to Dad. Dad really thinks I'm a disappointment? He didn't say you were a disappointment. He said he wished you lived up to your potential. Yeah, except everybody thinks that my potential is your potential. It's bad enough that you're always rubbing in my face how smart you are. You got it rough. You're in school two weeks and you've got friends. You've got a girlfriend. You're king of the new world. Everybody loves Jason and nobody... It's not that people don't like you. It's just... You got a really crappy attitude and that shoves people back like a fist to the face. If you get past that, you're kind of a cool chick. Kinda. Look, we get out of here. We rescue Dad. We save civilization the way we know it. Then, you and me, we can have a moment, okay? If we're gonna get out of here, it's gonna be up to you. You gotta use your mind and get Mom to help us. So just, you know, think and make Mom know we need help. Yeah. Do you have any Tylenol? I think I'm gonna headache. Anything? I don't know. Did you reach her? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Maybe you couldn't <sighs> reach mom. But this is all an illusion, right? Maybe you can get us out of here. How? Dad couldn't break his spell? Dad didn't know what he was being hit with. We do. Logically, we know none of this is real. You just have to make us believe we're back in that coffee shop. I can't make us believe anything. And I got a bad attitude? What are you doing? Helping you live up to your potential. Willpower. I got lots of it, and it's all yours. Just make us not believe. Well, we did it. Can you hold it open? I think so. Okay. I'm gonna go through first, and I'm going after the Empress. Well, I've got her distracted. You try and take the piece of paper off Dad's forehead. You get that off, I'm thinking that'll break a spell. How are you gonna fight Pearl? She just turned janitor to got a dust. I'm not gonna fight her for long, just long enough for you to free Dad. Just give me a few seconds, and then follow me through. Ready? I'm ready. Girls got skills. Did you really think it would be that easy? Three hoo three told you. Your beat. Your father's beat. Give yourself to me. Come on, Dad. Let's go. I don't understand. I... You would make the children so happy. Don't you want to make everybody happy? Yeah. I'd love to. I'd do anything for my family. Kelly! Stop him! Stop Dad! Dad! 
Dad! Dad! Dad! Stop! Dad, stop! Stop! You still have time to save your life. Swear your allegiance to me. No! No! Swear it! No! Then die. Mom? Get your stinking hands off my family. Oh. The wife. Well, I say this. Let's make you the first to pay tribute to your ancestors. Two down. Can't you see I have a baby? Good night. Listen to him. Just some loser. Look at them. They're laughing and smiling and they're not fighting. I know it feels good, but it's not real. You know it's not real. Ignore him. He doesn't want you to be happy. We're, We're the, the ones you want to be with. with. Dad, you can't leave. If you go, we. Mom and Kelly and me, we. Don't listen to him. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, tell me what I'm thinking. Look at me and tell me what I'm thinking. Honey. Dad? Oh, oh Dad! Dad. thousand years, I've never gotten over the pleasure of killing with my own hands. Can't you see she has a baby? If you're as bad a fighter as your little girl... I am not a little girl.
You can't beat us. I think I could kill you all. But I've waited 6,000 years. What's a few more? gonna die. Well, not exactly the family outing I was hoping for. But you guys were really something. Strong, confident. And you, you were amazing. I was just doing what a wife does. You are so sexy when you fight. Mm -hmm. So, do we get to do this all the time now? Because it was kind of cool. Except when we were gonna die. We were so gonna die. Well, you two aren't even close to being ready to do what your mother and I do. You can train us for real now. And you can teach me to kick a little ass. No. Chicks dig that. What we do, we do in secret, okay? No one can know that we're warriors. Well, please, just a little ass. I'm pretty sure that that is where my real potential is. We'll take things slowly. But the second it starts to affect your grades, you're done. Well, despite the fact pure evil almost took over the planet, <sighs> I think we've learned something from this. We're not a bunch of individuals living together. We're a family. Mm. And if what happened today makes us act like more of a family, then I think it's a very good thing. Does anybody see my... This is sweet bread. I like sweet bread. Jason, would you please hurry up before you're late? Oh, you no. Know, you know I like whole grain. Can you just see if there's any whole grain in the back? I'm not deaf. I got plenty of time. I'm gonna be late. Just drop them off on my way to work. Actually, maybe you two should just get to school on your own. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. See you two later. Oh, wait, I forgot something. <laughs> Whether sometime if this is meant to be All this for a humble little doll I'd be And all I ever really wanted was a family To teach my kids the same value that she gave to me Just the sun, the times and the tides are high And the boat, baby, rocky, you could cry Just never give up oh.